In caves in northern Spain, an excavation site called the Pit of Bones is a treasure trove of ancient skeletons. Tucked 30 meters below the surface, the pit has held the remains of human ancestors for hundreds of thousands of years. And the bones have held their own secrets, viable DNA. Juan Luis Arzuaga, Matias Meyer, and their colleagues recently broke open the genetic story of a 400,000-year-old femur taken from the Pit of Bones. But it took some technological finagling to make it happen. Like any ancient DNA study, this one started with drilling into the fossil bone, creating a powdery sample that contains the endogenous ancient DNA, but also microbial DNA and contamination from modern human DNA. Scientists then add a buffer to dissolve the organic and inorganic components of the bony matrix and centrifuge to collect debris at the bottom. Here's where Meyer's team refined the protocol. During the DNA extraction step, the researchers used a binding buffer that helps attach DNA to a special silica filter. Washing the membrane with alcohol and water leaves only attached DNA, including shorter fragments older methods missed. This DNA can be sequenced, but the team that worked on the 400,000-year-old femur made yet another improvement that captured more and smaller fragments. First, they broke down the bonds between double-stranded DNA molecules by subjecting them to heat. Then they attached a biotinylated adapter sequence to the three prime end of each individual strand. Next, they immobilized the attached adapter using a streptavidin-coated bead and added an extension primer. The extension primer directed the synthesis of a new strand of complementary DNA. With the addition of the double-stranded adapter to the three prime end of the newly created DNA strand, each fragment in the sample was ready to be sequenced. PCR amplified all the library fragments, then the DNA was fed into a next-generation sequencer. The scientists could verify that sequences were ancient by spotting telltale patterns of degradation. To assemble the complete mitochondrial genome of the millennia-old hominin, the researchers compared each of the endogenous DNA fragment sequences to a reference genome of a modern human. By sequentially passing each of the fragment sequences over the reference genome, the team identified matches and stitched together the fragments into a consensus sequence. Using these methods, researchers successfully sequenced the mitochondrial genome of a human ancestor that hasn't roamed the Earth in millennia. Scientists using similar protocols have sequenced DNA from 40,000-year-old Neanderthal remains, a 45,000-year-old Homo sapien specimen, and 700,000-year-old horse bones. With technologies advancing at breakneck speed, labs around the world are working hard to reach back even farther into biology's past.